Today we are traveling in some new waters. We're testing some stuff out. If this does end up being something that you like and want to see more of, let me know with a thumbs up and in the comments down below. I'm just trying something out. Don't like it, won't do it again. So I am going to talk about motorcycle gear, actually. Hey. So for those of you that don't know, I do ride, at least I have. I haven't done it in way too long, which makes me very sad. And it's something that I really enjoy doing. And um, motorcycle gear is vital. Um, it's something that I've definitely gotten into some friendly debate. <laughs> uh, I've gotten into some friendly debates with people, uh, mostly about helmets, especially full face helmets, um, which, for fuck's sake, just wear a helmet! Ugh, I've, the, the case against helmets that I've heard, which is kind of idiotic, um, in my opinion, is people are like, well, I'd rather the crash just kill me than to leave me, you know, just brain dead or a vegetable, to which I responded, okay, but you realize that without the helmet, now a crash you would have survived with the helmet, without the helmet, now you're going to just be a vegetable. So you're not going to either live or die without a helmet, what you've done is lessened the threshold of what it takes to severely injure you. That's it. <laughs> You're not either going to walk away or not without a helmet. You're just more easily injured. I hope that clarifies things. The other debate I've heard against helmets, um, is that they're very warm, they're so hot, uh, you know, some days it's just, you can't handle it. Honestly, if it is so hot out that wearing a helmet properly ventilated is going to cause you to, like, have a heat stroke or something, odds are it's also too hot for your bike, and your bike is probably going to overheat, and you should probably just abstain from riding. Um, or just do it in smaller spurts um, and let yourself and your bike and the engine and all that cool off for a bit. Um, so like for mine, there are several vents. Um, this is my helmet, a gift from my dad um, when I first got my endorsement. So um, like I just, there is a vent here at the bottom, so you get a blast right in your face, the bottom there, very easy to, it's, it's easier to open than it is to close a little bit. Um, and then you also have a couple vents up here so you can open those up. So there's metal mesh on the vents. Nothing weird is going to fly into your helmet as you're riding, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, the other thing is, is this has a visor. Um, obviously it's better to keep the visor down for the sake of your eyes and getting wind blasted straight in your face, um, but it does come up. So if you've got, like, a, I actually have tinted safety glasses, um, thanks Jeff. So I actually have tinted safety glasses simply because they are very flush to the face and they fit very easily underneath, so instead of sunglasses, I wear those. Um, so I would definitely suggest doing something similar. Um, you can get, of course, tinted visors and things like that. I'm not an expert. I just know some of the possibilities and definitely not all. Um, but yeah, so there are a lot of ways you can make sure that you stay cooled off with a full face helmet. You can have the vents open, you can have the, sh the visor up, um, and still be fully protected. So this skull cap does almost nothing, um, cause this, when you're rolling around, is staying firmly on your head. This isn't going anywhere. This is, <laughs> you're, you're being kept safe and there's vents in the back that are just always there. Um, so if you're really, really worried 
about overheating in your helmet. Get something with a crap load of vents as much as you can while still being properly certified. You need, you need that dot certification at the least. Um, and then just lift the visor up and have some sunglasses on or safety goggles if you can manage uh, to get some, which I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, so keep yourself safe. For the love of God, just wear a helmet. <laughs> I understand it's not cool as cool looking or whatever, but if you're riding to look cool, you are riding for the wrong reasons. The other thing, and something that I prioritized because um, I was a massage therapist at the time, I was riding a lot, um, is I got gloves with knuckle reinforcers. Again, these have vents. There's some vents here. Um, there's some mesh and things like that. Um, these have also some reflectors on the fingers so you can see even the fingers are adding to the safety and your visibility which is huge huge for your equipment the more reflective stuff on your gear the better even for instance uh the, this part here this is actually a lot of the detailing in this is reflective uh, so if it's dark and you shine a light on this helmet the parts of the pattern show up so even this aids in the visibility So if you are going to have gloves, I would recommend something with reinforced knuckles um, because if, if you crash, your hands are so susceptible to damage. Your hands are really fragile, very intricate, um, so they get injured, it's really hard to put them back together. Other than helmet and gloves, obviously you're going to want a jacket, maybe some pants even. Um, I have both. So I got this jacket. I was so happy to find this jacket. Because here's my question. Why? Why does every motorcycle equipment making company think every woman wants to wear pink? I don't like pink. I am not, I don't hate it. But I don't own anything pink, willingly. Any, if I own something pink, it was given to me. I don't seek out pink at all. I don't wear pink. I just, I'd rather not. I don't want pink. So to find a jacket that fit me, came in my size, um, and wasn't fucking pink, was an accomplishment. I am so happy I was able to find this jacket. So as you can see, this jacket is not pink. Thank you. Um, and something that's very important to note is a lot of jackets come in black because everyone thinks black is the cool color, which is kind of annoying um, because as soon as you get out in the sun, you're going to start boiling. Also, it makes you a little less visible. And as I said before, being as visible as possible is important. So this has this fantastic stripe across it that helps you be more visible. This has some lining that you can take out if you don't want to be it's so warm. It's very meshy on the inside. And then it has these glorious vents that you can zip and unzip and I have a flashlight in there. Which is pink. I did not buy this. Um, so you've got a lot of vents, um, you've got a vent in the arm here, very nice, um, can fit around your wrists, uh, sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a breeze in there, but wherever you can get a breeze where it's not through a vent means you can also get bugs, so just keep that in mind. Um, but something that I really wanted to make sure that this had was one, the neck is very high. So let me tell you, getting a bug to the throat is jarring. So I wanted it to have a higher neck uh, to protect against as many bugs as possible. So that was one of my criteria. The other criteria, of course, was no pink. And then I wanted it to have at least the availability 
of reinforcement. So, so it actually has reinforced elbows. Can't really get a good knock, it's covered in fabric. But it has reinforced elbows and it has a back plate actually. All, all through here, all the way up to there actually. Uh, so I roll around in this. My elbows and my back are pretty well reinforced. And of course, the other thing was making sure it had plenty of vents. And it's got vents in the arms and the back and the, and the front. It's got events in the back, right? Okay. Yeah. The other thing I have is real leather pants. Um, so I just have the full pants because these are hand-me-downs. <laughs> these are hand-me-downs uh, from my dad. Thank you very much. Um, and there is an age-old debate, well, I don't know if you can say age-old, synthetics haven't been around forever, um, but there is a debate uh, between having actual leather and synthetics. Um, some people will say synthetics are just as good as leather, and the truth is they're just not. Um, there is a simple, simple reason for this, and it's that no matter how good synthetics are, they may be tougher um, and all that, but the thing is, it's still a fiber. So because it's still a fabric, because it's still a fiber, it's going to catch on asphalt, even if it's only a little bit. Um, but um, that slight little catch when you're going, you know, 60 miles an hour um, can translate into a lot. So even if this fiber catches only a little bit, it translates into catching, which translates into tumbling. So what that means is in a fiber, a synthetic fiber fabric, if you're wearing that, you're more likely to tumble um, compared to if you're in leather, um, you're going to slide. Um, so what this means is you're actually going to get fewer injuries if you're wearing leather during a collision because in those situations because the leather you will slide which means you get road burn things like that in a synthetic fiber you catch you tumble you're more likely to get broken bones things like that you you can still slide a bit but you're going to tumble more and instead of skin being scraped, you you break everything. <laughs> um, so that's why, t till today, as far as I know, um, leather is still the safer option um, because you will slide um, compared to tumbling and getting a bunch of broken bones. So if you'd rather get a bunch of broken bones, then chant some road burn. Um, that's up to you. Uh, I've heard some first-hand accounts of getting road burn, again from my dad. He is luckiest unlucky man I know, is what I say, because the amount of times he's been injured, oh, with the amount of times he's been injured where he should have died, would take more than one hand for me to count. Let's put it that way. Anyway, um, yeah, so, and, and those accounts are terrible. It sounds horrid. So if you'd rather tumble and break a lot of things, possibly your neck, uh, then yeah. <laughs> that's up to you and your research and all of that. But that's why to this day a lot of people will still get genuine leather over synthetic. Um, for the safety reasons. Um, for shoes, you can get motorcycle boots. Those are great. Again, I had some hand-me-down ones, some good old genuine Harley boots. They were a little big, uh, so I did end up giving those away. Um, actually, what I replaced them with was work boots. So these are just work boots I had to get. I worked at a paper mill for a while, actually, and these were great. Um, so we were in an area where they had to be um, certified slip proof, I think. This was a long time ago. Um, but certified slip proof, safety boots, I'm sorry, work boots, and a hard toe. Um, 
So what this means is these are padded against blows and things like that. Um, they have a good grip, which we definitely use more than once, and a good hard toe. Um, so this means you have reinforcement in the toe for shifting, and you got that extra padding for safety, and they go up the ankle a bit, so they're high tops, if you will. Um, so actually, work boots are great motorcycle boots. <laughs> um, and these are exactly my size, so I use these a lot. And they're slightly splattered with guardrail paint. So that helps with visibility, right? Um, fun fact for people that live in cold areas, these are actually great uh, for winter as well because the extra padding makes them warm. Uh, being slip-proof certified or what have you means they have a good grip against ice and snow. And then the hard toe is great for kicking the ice off your car. So. So if you need work boots and winter boots, just get work boots because it'll do both jobs. All three jobs, actually. All right, let me know if this was a success, if this is something you care about at all. If not, let me know that too. I appreciate all your responses. Um, just getting any kind of feedback is always great. Uh, it really helps me understand what to do. So. Give a like, give a comment, if you so choose. Either way, wildly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.